week than probably the last three months. So, stay tuned, check out my other videos, I'm posting stuff daily, but hey, let's get back right here to what's at hand, or should I say, in hand. That's right, um, whether you love Green Day or you hate them, um, if you're between the ages of 25 and 40, and play guitar, you have been influenced by them. I am one of those kids that was influenced by them. Uh, I was turned on to the Ramones, turned on to the Sex Pistols, wasn't really into much other punk, then all of a sudden these guys come out called Green Day. And you know what? Um, they pushed me in a direction that I probably wouldn't have gone, which has uh, put me on a path or a journey to where I am today. And um, besides, how can you be mad at a band that uh, that gets mud thrown at him at Woodstock and still continues to play. That's freaking punk rock. Anyways, so this guitar is modeled after Billy Joe's Les Paul Jr. Um, of course, uh, Gibson has put out some really nice versions of those lately, and um, they are quite nice. But again, they are yeah, thousand plus. This one here um, is uh, designed to look like it play reasonably well and be incredibly affordable which all my guitars are if you really if you know me anyways um, let's go with the features real quick I have a aged white body standard Les Paul Jr. pick guard standard controls you got your volume you got your tone you got the wraparound bridge rosewood neck a rosewood fretboard it is a maple neck um, it has the open book headstock on it. Um, if you've seen my eBay post on this guitar, you will know that everything on here pretty much is from some branch of the Gibson family. Um, that includes an Epiphone body, one of their import necks. Um, it is an Epiphone wraparound bridge. This is an actual Gibson P90. It's a little hotter than some of the uh, some of them you've heard. Um, obviously, in my opening chords there, you could hear how much she rocks. Um, I I built a little. Uh, it has a little riser on here, so that it is actually the correct the correct spacing from the strings. That generally helps with them. Um, okay, go to. Uh, sealed tuners on it with the keystones. Now I know uh, Les Paul Jr. is supposed to have the buttons, but um, the last couple of guitars I put the quote Les Paul Jr. tuners on, I didn't like them. So, anyways, uh, uh, to avoid any legal trouble, she does feature the Mike G Customs logo on the headstock, and she does come with a certificate of authenticity. Uh, manufacturer certificate from this shop in which I am now speaking. Uh, you will also notice she's relict. Um, the color varies all over the body. I really wanted this to look like a 30, 40 year old guitar. You can see the neck is worn. So yeah, this is a rocker. So um, really quickly I'm going to play some clean here from my trusty shop amp. Uh, here we go. Um, also, back behind here, all the cavities are shielded. Um, inside here, um, the tone cap is an orange drop, so we are going for, quote, the Gibson sound, so you've got to have the orange drop. Anyways, uh, anyways um, yeah, so let's go back to this, uh, let's go back to this uh, clean demo.
video, this baby likes to crank. So let's go back to the game channel. I got it at about 45. Let's go to 65. So now I'm just screwing off. Anyways, as you can tell, she's a, she's a great little rocker. Oh, I forgot one other thing. While it is a bolt-on neck and body, when I set the neck, I actually glued it in. So you've got the neck plate on there, which, which would have held it just fine. But to add sustain and add uh, stability, um, I, I literally glued it in. Um, check the, video, um, the pictures on the eBay post. Um, but she is um, she's technically a set neck guitar. But anyways, um, that said, my name's Mike G. Watch out for my other videos. I'm going to have about 10 guitars posted this week. Check back. Um, check me out on eBay. Go to the eBay search field and just put in Mike G. Customs. That's M-I-K-E-G-E-E-K-U-S-T-O-M-S. Thanks for watching. My name is Mike G. And I'm out.